So here's a different video that you guys are probably not used to seeing from me. I am working on my wife's grandma's lawnmower here. And the issue with it is that the solenoid went out. And I don't have the original solenoid because it's a long ways from me and I don't feel like going and getting it. But the solenoid that came on it is no longer working. On top of the fact that the key switch that starts the mower um, is no longer making contact. So I have to fix this with a new universal solenoid and I'm going to be redoing some wire. Uh, going to be doing rewiring a whole bunch of stuff here, uh, including the ground cable uh, that goes to the chassis. Um, I'm going to put some LED lights on this thing just because I have them. I didn't know what else to do with them. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with soldering a bunch of this stuff. And you guys will see. Okay, so I've got the first wire made here. Uh, this is going to the starter. And this right here, I got this loom, which I'm going to actually be using uh, for my car. Uh, car audio stuff and some wires. But I figured I'd just put a, just a little bit of it on here just to kind of experiment with it and see how it works so this is going to go to this side of the solenoid so i have also have another wire that i need to run over to the front of the where there's a spark plug over here so yeah okay this is day umpteenth something of messing around with this mower so two problems was is that this solenoid was not starting the mower and the battery was not charging I tested the voltage on the voltage regulator right here and it was outputting the proper voltage uh, when it's at idle it only puts out about 10 volts and then once you crank it up it'll go up to 12 where it's supposed to be the weird part was is that they put a fuse in the weirdest freaking location if you look back in this harness right here, there was a fuse that was zip-tied to the harness, but it was on the back right here, so I didn't notice it at first. But once you actually... And there was a crap ton of dust on there, so I didn't really notice. But there was a fuse on there. That fuse was blown. So this red wire goes all the way through the harness, goes up, and meets at the original key switch, uh, which is right there. Uh... I know, this was originally attached to the opposite side of the solenoid starter, but the problem is with the original switch is not working, so I'm going to mount a new key switch on top of this one so that I can get it uh, going. So, And then I'm going to transfer this little push button over here to get the lights to work again. So here's my key starter. Uh, I've got these wires nice and braided. I know it's completely overkill for this, but uh, yeah. So I've got the hole drilled. I'm going to get this thing mounted, get all of this connected. Um, and there's the push button for the lights. Get all of this stuff mounted and um, get this thing running. Okay, so I've got everything connected here. Uh, I've got it uh, going to the starter right here. Uh, this is the harness for the new lights I've added. Um, I added new, this new ground going to the actual engine block. And I've got the switch up there wired up. And this is the charging wire from the um, voltage regulator. So it's time to just uh, give this thing a test run. Okay, so this is still the kill switch. Um, I'm just going to turn this to on, the new key. So we're going to test the voltage. Um, right now it is at nothing. Um, that came off. Be 
some junk. Okay, so right now we are at 12.06. Let's start her up. Husqvarna YTH24V48.